Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete EKS cluster in AWS using EKS CTL command. I have logged into my AWS account. So let's review whether we have any EKS cluster exist in this account. Okay, no cluster exist. We are going to use the EKS CTL command to create the cluster. First we need to do the AWS configure so that from our terminal we will be able to connect to a specific AWS account and create the EKS cluster in that account. AWS configure. So already I have configured it so I am going to accept all those values. Okay, so now let us create the cluster. EKS CTL create cluster. So we need to give the name for the cluster. I am going to call it as a demo cluster. And then we can specify the region. Then we need we can specify the node type. Which I'll give it as t2.micro and the number of nodes I'll create a two node cluster. Then let's specify a name for the node group. Give it as a demo node group. Click enter. So it is using the EKS CTL version 0.144.0. Now it is deploying the stack. The AWS uses the cloud formation template to create this cluster. So let us go and review that. Let's search for cloud formation. This is the template. So you can see it is create in progress. So the events. You Certain resources creation have been completed and certain resource creation is in progress. So here you will be able to see the information about the, the resources and if there is any output you will be able to see here any parameters that you will be able to see here. Here you can see the template. You will be able to copy this template and create an EKS cluster using this template. So we can see the tag information here. So let's get back to the terminal. So the EKS cluster, demo cluster has been successfully created now. Now it is ready to use. Let's further explore that by logging into the console. Click EKS. So we could see the demo cluster here. Right. So in the overview section, you can see the API server endpoint the cluster IAM role, ARN, certificate authority. So all these informations you'll be able to see in the overview section. And in the resources, you'll be able to see the various resources like pods, replica set, deployments. And here again, here you'll be able to see the nodes which are part of this cluster. So these are the two nodes. And the services and config and the secrets you'll be able to see the config maps and if there are any secrets that you'll be able to see here authentication you'll be able to see the service accounts the policies if there is any policies defined you'll be able to see that and here you'll be able to see the custom resource definitions and the rotating the book configuration if anything is there as well as the validating the book configuration so all these information you'll be able to see under other resources the compute you'll be able to see the nodes which are part of this cluster and the node group and in the network you'll be able to see the vpc and the subnets and the security groups associated with this so you don't have any add-ons and logging you'll be able to see the logging information and we have not switched on any logging and the tags you'll be able to see the tag information here Okay, so now we have successfully created a 
EKS cluster using the EKS CTL command. Now let us go and delete that cluster. EKS CTL delete cluster and then we need to give the cluster name. It has started deleting the EKS cluster. The demo cluster has been successfully deleted. So let's go and review that in the console. Clusters. Okay, the cluster has been successfully deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create an EKS cluster in AWS using the EKS CTL command, and we reviewed the cluster and then how to delete the EKS cluster using the EKS CTL command. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.